Hi guys, James from Measure Square here. Welcome to part one of our multifamily series with Measure Square 8. In this video, we will cover importing, cropping, and scaling our plans, as well as naming our tabs properly to navigate a typical multifamily job with different styles of the same unit on a multi-unit plan. To begin, let's go to the import button in the top left and select our plans. Left click to select the plans by dragging our selection cursor around the files. Click open. In the Select Images to Import pop-up, we can verify that there are no image size issues by glancing at the right side and making sure our image size dimensions aren't in red. If they are, we can adjust the image size in the menu in the top left to a lower value. If everything looks good here, we will click OK to view our image preview. Since we have both a standard and a hardwood variation of each of our two units, we will need to crop and import two scaled copies. To begin, Go to the Crop button in the top center, and then hold down the left mouse button to drag a blue selection rectangle around the one-bedroom unit plan. Note that once the selection has been made, the cropped plan will show on the right-hand side. We can scale the cropped plan by selecting the drop-down menu to the right of the file name and selecting the appropriate scale. A quarter inch equals a foot in this case. Next, let's name our tab according to the unit name, Style, and Square Footage. Left click in the file name field and enter the info. In this case, we will name our plan A2 1 bed 1 bath standard and enter the square footage for the unit. We will denote this layer as standard as it will have both broadloom and hardwood in the unit, which is the standard configuration for this unit. To make the appropriate tab for our upgraded A2 unit, we will left click on the original A2 file and recrop the same unit area, giving us a second crop tab to work with. We will perform the same scaling and tab naming operation, this time choosing to name the tab A2 1 bed 1 bath hardwood and enter the square footage for the unit. We will denote this layer as hardwood as it will have just hardwood in the unit which is the upgraded configuration for this unit. We will then do the same operation for the 2 bed 2 bath unit for both the standard and hardwood units. Once these operations are done, we will deselect the original tabs and leave only our crop tab selected, then click Import to New Tabs so that each cropped image will get its own tab, helping us in the estimate phase later on. To bring in our generic finish schedule, we will go back to our import button and grab the file from its separate folder. We can just import this page directly to a new tab using the import to new tab button. In part two of our multifamily series, we will cover basic product creation for our project. 